So here we see a video of an athlete doing an acceleration from kind of standing start position. I ask them to, to kind of drop in, but keep their torso fairly upright with just a slight lean forward. Um, she's here also being asked to pull her thighs through as violently as possible and then to climb through the cones and the wickets in front of her and to continue to apply as much pressure as she can from what's a pretty biomechanically disadvantageous position, i.e. kind of upright, right? It's hard to accelerate when you're already fairly upright. The cones and the wickets are placed at somewhere between, say, 5 and 10, 10 centimeters greater than her normal step length through this uh, period here. So uh, steps kind of 4 to 13 is what this is kind of based on. She then continues on the backside of the wickets to run through for another 30 meters. So why do we do this? Well, most sprinters can figure out early acceleration and upright shapes and patterns as they don't change a lot, right? Late acceleration, often called you know transition, is way harder. Every step changes and athletes have to figure out how to stay on the gas. It's really hard. And as coaches, we often ignore it. We program tons of 10s and 20s and 25s and 30s and lots of flies and 60s and 90s. So lots of early acceleration stuff, lots of top end stuff, but not a lot of focused sort of 30 to 50 work where we ask athletes to accelerate deep and to climb aggressively. And that's really important. It's where races are won and lost. Check the caption below as well as the first comment and let me know what you think.